to score more points. Any way to do that? Will there be more passing, more running? Oh, that we don't know. It depends on the game plan that the coaches come up with. Uh, if they think we should stress passing, then we will stress passing. And then again, on a given done the day uh, that we play, it depends on how the defense is playing against us. You know, if they give us the pass, we'll take it. If they give us a run, we'll take that. Dallas has complicated defenses, don't they? Not that much. They strictly a 4-3 defense, uh, very little blitzing, and they play a combination uh, secondary. They re uh, rely strictly on a pass rush, the four men up front to get to the passer in order to uh, knock the passes down. Uh, the best pass defense is a good hard pass rush, and that's what they have. Yesterday at Memorial Stadium, there were some uh, snowballs thrown, primarily at uh, Oakland, but also at the Colts. Should that happen? Should it happen? No, but you can't control people to that extent. You know. That happened to us up in uh, Buffalo, which was uh, very bush, and I thought the people who threw the uh, snowballs and also someone threw a bottle out of the stands and broke glass on the field, I thought it was very bushly. What can be done to control that, and, and also what can be done to bring fans back? You didn't have a full house yesterday. Well, I don't have the slightest idea about that. I guess the television had something to do with it. What can be can done to, to, to control the snowball throwing, I don't see anything you, you can do, really, except uh, uh, maybe tell them they're going to get arrested if they do it, which is ridiculous because you know, everyone likes to throw snowballs. And uh, with 80, 60, 80,000 people in the stands, you can't control everybody. I guess you're dressed for it anyway. <laughs> yes, all right with me.